Hi, this video is from interview.com. Interview.com is a job portal. In this video, I'm going to talk about the Spring Framework Bean Lifecycle Demo. In Spring Framework, when a bean is instantiated, it may be required to perform some initialization to get in it into a usable state. Similarly, when the bean is no longer required and is removed from the container, some cleanup may be required. So, Spring provides a hook. I would say it's a hook. So whenever the bean is instantiated, it it will give you an opportunity to do something extra from your side. Okay. So these are called hooks. Spring Framework will call these hooks. You can do whatever you want. We can simply declare the bean with init method or destroy method parameters in the XML file. I'll show that now. Init method attribute specifies a method that is to be called on the bean immediately upon instantiation. This is init method parameter, whereas destroy method specifies a method that is called just before the bean is removed from the container. I'll show the XML file, then you can understand. So this is the bean, employee bean, and this is a class. And there are two parameters, init method and destroy method. We can inform the spring saying that whenever you create or instantiate the bean, please call this method on this class then whenever you remove the bean from the container call this destroy method in this class so if you see this bean you can see there is an init method and destroy method which i have mentioned here init and destroy so these two methods will be called during the creation and removal of bean from the container let's see by executing this how exactly it works so i'm going to start this debugging mode okay so so the XML file will be loaded and during the creation of the bean and the init method will be called you can see here so loading of XML bean definitions and while creating the bean it has called this init method this init method we have mentioned here okay so init method is called this is like a hook called by the spring so you can do whatever you want I have for demo purposes I've just printed it you can do you can if you want to do some other method some other method or if you want to set some parameters initialization of some of the variables you can do whatever you want this is a hook method it's an opportunity for you to do something before the object is created okay so let's let's get the bean so just I'm printing the employee name now I have here context register shutdown hook this is like graceful shutdown so what will happen is we can see the destroy method called if I don't have this API called here you can't see this destroy method being called okay so just to see this destroy method called by the spring framework I have written this so register shutdown hook so now we can see will do a graceful shutdown so in that case it is calling this destroy method where is this destroy here you can see destroy method parameter so I am informing the spring framework whenever you remove the bean from the container please call this method okay so destroy method is called by the spring it is also one more hook where you can do the cleanup or whatever you want to do in your application you can do this but whenever the bean is removed from the container spring will call this method okay yes hope these two methods init init method and destroy method you are able to understand hope this video is useful thank you and all the best